Hello everyone, Darkside Phil here, and we are about to begin the month of August when I'm filming this video, by the way. And uh, as of late, over the past couple of months, I've gotten many requests from people to do a gaming calendar update. Now that E3 has passed, now that the summer is in full effect, and people want to know what will I be working on, what games will I be playing between now and the end of the year. What I'm about to do is go through my calendar for the next five months, explain to you the games that I'm interested in playing, a few that I'm intrigued about, but I don't necessarily know if I will be playing or not and I'd actually like your feedback your feedback on that stuff okay <clears throat> and there's gonna be a few games here that I'm interested in that don't have release dates but we'll talk about that in a moment so let's start with the month of August which is about to get started this month is pretty much set in stone so allow me to explain I'm going to be balancing the patrons choice playthrough of Fallout New Vegas with the ongoing playthrough of Metroid Prime ink from the marker when I wrote all over. <laughs> There's ink all over my finger. That's pretty funny. So, Fall on New Vegas, Metroid Prime. Coming out on the 4th is the Rare Replay Collection, and I'm going to be checking that out uh, from time to time throughout the course of the month. Every Saturday, I forgot to write this on there, but every Saturday, Leanna and I will be doing the Godfather uh, cooperative playthrough on the Xbox 360. And if I hit all of my goals for Patreon, which we're about to find out because during the first week of this month is when the charges will go through, um, I'm going to take one day a week to work on Project 7. And as you can see, it's skewed here. From three weeks, it's going to be a Friday, and one week, the final day of the month, I'm going to be working on it because of some things going on this weekend, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. So that's the roughly what you can expect in August now. Also, there seems to be massive interest in me continuing on my Crash Bandicoot 2 playthrough, which I did as a marathon at the end of July, and people were disappointed I only got around halfway through it. So I'm thinking of doing that for one to two streams during August to finish that up. In addition to that, a fan of mine just sent me a copy of Just Cause 2 on the Xbox 360, and I'm interested in playing that because I never played it, and Just Cause 3 is coming out later in the year. But in addition to all of that, yes, there's even more potential. So there's a lot of stuff going on in August, and really what it's going to come down to is time constraints. How much time do I have, okay? The real one big major release in August is Until Dawn, which comes out on the 25th. There are two other games coming out that day, God of War Ultimate Collection, as well as One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. I hate to say it, they're the victims of bad release timing, because that is far too late into the summer for those games for me to be giving them the time of day, especially with all the releases coming out in September. So I'm sorry, but I have no interest in playing those games, and I'm going to be busy that week playing Until Dawn, okay? Um, that Saturday is Leanna's birthday, so we're going to be gone. We're going to be in Seattle doing stuff that day and vlogging and doing stuff like that. So that day I'm not even going to be doing any gameplay, and there's a possibility. It's not set in stone yet, but there's a possibility that either on the 28th or the 30th of August, we're going to be attending PAX Prime right here in Seattle. So, I'll have more info on that as we get closer to it. I have no idea if it's, if it's going to happen or not. It's actually tentative right now. But what that means is, look, I'll only have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I'm going to be doing Ask the King, so really half of Thursday, and maybe either Friday or Sunday to be playing Until Dawn, right? Because this day is Leanna's birthday, and that day I'm going to probably be working on Project 7. So I'm only going to have like three or so days to play Until Dawn, so it may just be an Until Dawn marathon of me playing the game through those days, so I can get enough coverage of it, all right? So that's August, September. Now the big ones start to hit. Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid 5, both on the 1st of September. Tearaway Unfolded. That's right, they took that game Tearaway from Media Molecule, and it used to be just a PS Vita game. They turned it into a PS4 game. And I'm interested in checking that out because so many people said it was a great Vita game. Later that week, Mario Maker on the Wii U. The week after that, my taxes are due, but you can ignore that. Mighty Number no. 9 is finally getting an official release. Yes, after a year ago, I played the demo of it. Now I'm finally going to get to play the full game, Mighty Number no. 9. On the 22nd, there's a survival horror sci-fi game on PC called Soma. And when I'm reading about it, it's giving me a vibe almost like Outlast, but I could be completely wrong. But I'm interested in it and to learn more about it as we get closer. Now, the end of the month is where it's kind of uncertain. The end of September, you've got NBA 2K16 as well as Tony Hawk 5. Yeah, if you can believe it, Tony Hawk is coming back 
with a fifth installment in his Pro Skater series this September. I'll be honest, of those two games, I think I'm more intrigued by Tony Hawk than anything because NBA, we've played the past two years, and I think that the gimmick of sports games kind of wore out this year, which is why I stayed away from sports games for the most part. So I'm really not that interested in NBA, but I'm more interested in Tony Hawk, and I might check it out. October. The first week of October, we've got Rock Band 4, which I'm on the fence about. I want to play it. I like the Rock Band games, but I don't know if I'll be able to play it or if I'm going to get content ID matches for the music. This Gaia 5. Yeah, I remember years and years and years ago, I played this Gaia 4. And it was a really long freaking game, but I enjoyed playing it. I'm debating playing this Gaia 5. The Uncharted Collection comes out that Friday the 9th, but I'm not really interested in playing it at the time. What I'll probably do is buy it and save it for downtime later on where I can maybe do an Uncharted 2 and 3 playthrough again to prepare for the Uncharted 4, which is going to be coming out maybe next year. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege comes out the 13th of October, as well as Dragon Quest Heroes, which is a game that's supposed to sim be similar to, say, um, <clears throat> what was it last year? Uh, Zelda. Remember Zelda Hyrule Warriors? Supposed to be the same thing, only with Dragon Quest characters. So I'm interested in those. And then later that week, Yoshi's Woolly World, which maybe Leanna and I will be doing a cooperative playthrough of that on the weekends. We'll have to see. Sucks that the rest of the world got it back in June, and we're not getting it here in the United States until the 16th of October, but that's just another major awful management decision by Nintendo, in my opinion. This next one I'm kind of disappointed about. Tales of Zestiria. It's the new Tales of game, getting its release here in the United States. The problem is, look when it's coming out. In the middle of October, in the middle of the hardcore gaming season. So, you know these games traditionally are 40 plus hours of gameplay. I don't know if I'd be able to give it enough time, especially with Assassin's Creed Syndicate coming out later that week. With the week after that, yeah, Halo 5 and WWE 2K16. Could I give Tales of Zestiria a, enough time to warrant a playthrough, or should I get it and hold on to it until a, t a, a more extended period of downtime? I don't know. I'm currently on the fence about it. So I'm going to have to think about it and make a decision, okay? November. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is supposed to have a worldwide release on the 6th. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. It would be the first time a Call of Duty game actually came out on a Friday, but we'll see. I'm very excited for that because of the Zombies co-op and also the cooperative campaign. The week after that, of course, the, probably the biggest week of gaming of the year, Fallout 4, being released November 10th. And, of course, Rise of the Tomb Raider also being released then. So what I'll probably do is balance that week with both of them. And a week after that, boom, Star Wars Battlefront. So, for the rest of that month, I'll be probably doing Fallout 4, Tomb Raider, and Star Wars Battlefront mixed in with multiplayer of Call of Duty. And as I said, you see what I mean about Tales of Hysteria? Like, when would I be playing it besides maybe once or twice a week at most? I don't know. So, it's kind of up in the air right now. <clears throat> Nothing really going on for the end of November. They kind of spaced out the end of November for Thanksgiving. No games coming out. But then that first week of December, boom! Just Cause 3, as I mentioned earlier, as well as Xenoblade Chronicles X will be released at the end of that first week of December. And then on the 8th of December, Hitman, the first installment, this is the first Hitman game to be an episodic release, will be released on December 8th. So I'm interested in that. And the things that I don't have on here are two games that are supposed to be coming out from Nintendo that month, the new Star Fox game, as well as Yokai Watch, which is a Nintendo 3DS game that I saw at the E3 event and I thought looked pretty good. So those are also strong possibilities for December. So quite honestly, with all the content that you see here, all these games, obviously, some of these games are going to take me weeks to beat. I'm going to be juggling multiple games. The good news is, the good news is, unlike the end of 2014, there isn't one crazy week with like seven games. So at least I'll be able to play each game on release for at least a couple days, get a, get a good you know dose of it before we move on to other stuff where we get caught up in other playthroughs. That's the good news, okay? So that's kind of the rough schedule for the rest of the year. As you can see, it's going to be a very busy one. We've got some huge heavy hitters in there. I'm sure there's going to be more games that have release dates. In fact, I'm absolutely sure this always happens. Someone's going to comment on this video and say, but Phil, what about so-and-so game that's, that's supposed to be coming out by the end of 2015, to which I will preemptively respond. I've only put games on here that have solid release dates with the exception of Star Fox and Yo-Kai Watch. Everything else here has a solid release date. 
and that's why it's on there. So there may be games that don't have solid dates that I didn't put on here because we don't know when they're coming out, and yes, I might play them, but this is a pretty damned full schedule until the end of the year. Keep in mind, traditionally at the end of the year around this time, I do a Christmas special, which I didn't do last year, but I'm thinking of doing this year. Okay, there's also usually my year-end videos and stuff around this time period, so that's going to be very busy. Game of the Year awards and stuff coming up around then. I sometimes try to do a Halloween special. We'll see if I can squeeze one in this year. There's a lot of stuff going on there, but maybe I can squeeze one in because the early November really doesn't have a lot going on. So... This year could be a pretty interesting one, with all these game releases in particular. Obviously, what's the one I'm looking forward to the most? Duh! Fallout 4, of course, but there's some really good ones in there too. Star Wars Battlefront, Call of Duty, uh, Rainbow Six, <clears throat> the new WWE. There's a lot of games that I'm looking forward to a lot. And uh, Rock Band, if I can do it. I want to do Rock Band badly, but I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to. We'll have to see what happens. But uh, that is the new schedule. So plan appropriately. You now know what I'll be playing, and I hope to see you. I hope you'll join me for August for the more downtime stuff going on. Hopefully I'll have enough time with those four days to work on Project 7 to release a few teasers and or uh, maybe an episode or two that I can kind of spread out throughout this time frame. And, of course, keep in mind the other things you're not seeing in here are Patreon-related events like Best and Worst of DSP Classics montages, if I decide to do any more marathons, pa Patrons' Choice playthroughs, which we are still going to be doing. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on during this time period, okay? So that is it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you coming soon for the Hardcore Gaming Season of 2015. It's going to be exciting, and I hope to see you then.